This will be a quick video demonstration on how to use my reconstitution calculator. I designed this calculator with newbies in mind. And what I mean by that is it only requires two inputs. It requires your starting pepper amount and your desired dose. So let's just play with some scenarios here. Let's say you have a 50 milligram vial. I've also made this able to add multiple peptides if you're using a blend. You could add up to five peptides. But let's just say we have a standard glow blend, 50, 10, 10. Then you come down here, you enter your desired dose, and this will lock to this ratio. So if I put one, you see it automatically filled in the other two in accordance with this ratio up here. For this blend, I like to do two milligrams of the GHKCU, so I'll just go with that for now. It automatically shows you your, the number of doses in that vial. And if you come down below, there are two separate outputs um, that you could choose from. Uh, I recommend going with the table output because this kind of will show you a full picture. Uh, so once, once you make your choice here, click Calculate. This will generate a table that is going to show you different backwater scenarios. So what this first line is showing you is if you add one milliliter of backwater, to take your desired dose, you would draw four units each time, okay? And you can scroll down. This, by default, will go all the way through to three mLs, which I recommend for the glow. If it's in a three milliliter vial, if you have a larger vial, go more. It's a lot nicer when it's diluted further. Uh, but let's just say you have a larger vial, so you want to see more options. You just click Show More Results, and this will go all the way to 10 milliliters. So you could just scroll through this, find a scenario that fits your preferences and go with it. Um, if you come back up, let's just say you already know what your preference is. Say you want to dilute this to where your desired dose is going to be 25 units. You would click this dose volume option and come in here and you put in how many units you want to draw each time you take a dose. So let's just say that's 25. You hit calculate and it will tell you to add 6.25 milliliters of backwater. Now that's the first mode for the calculator. Now for the second mode, I kind of made this more for myself because I get a lot of questions from people like, hey, I have this, I mixed it with this amount of backwater, how much should I be taking? And this reverse calculator will answer that question for you. Okay, let's just say, Let's just throw in something weird here. Let's just say we've got a 15 milligram vial and they added two milliliters of backwater. Now, same situation down here below. We have the table output and we have the volume per dose. So I'll show you the, I'll show you the table first. What this will do is this will tell you units one through 100. If you were to take that, this would be your dose. Okay, so it's a little bit different than the other way, but so let's just say their desired dose is 2.5 milligrams. So you would scroll down until you find the 2.5 milligrams, which it's not here exactly, but we can see that it's right in the middle of these two. So then their dose would be 33.5 units. I didn't want to make this show half units because it would just be so so cluttered and crowded. Okay. And then let's just say we've got the other scenario, right? Say they say, oh, I've got a 15 milligram peptide. I added two milliliters and I've been taking 10 units. You could quickly come in here and put that in. And now we know that they've only been doing 0.75 milligrams each dose. And so I just kind of made this for myself, but I could see where other people could have use of this. Um, I also wanted to show you real quick what it looks like. Let's just show you another situation with a, a blend. So let's throw the glow back in here. And let's just say we added three milliliters. We're going to do the table output this time. Hit calculate. And you can see it's going to show you the dose of each peptide. If you go down and look at the units. So I don't know. I really like this. Um, it tends to confuse some people. So I wanted to make this quick video. Hopefully this helps.